Hello everyone. I hope you enjoy this little impromptu video I've made. I, I promised Workhorse that I would put a banner up in the video with a link to his blog that I'm about to read from your point of view. And um, I, can't, I can't put a link in because I don't have 500 YouTube subscribers. So Workhorse, once I get 500 YouTube subscribers, I'll come back, I'll put a link in. But for now, check out Workhorse's blog in the show notes down below. And, for, and uh, I'm going to let the rest of the recording I made earlier play now. Toodles. Hello, and welcome to a little short intern video inspired by Wowie and Maddie Pesk. They made a little joke about someone, uh, one of them, reading in a dramatic fashion the new Workhorse blog. And I decided that I'm just going to go ahead and uh, steal that idea because I've seen other people do it in crypto. And I can just say I came up with it on my own. We'll cut that from the video so they don't know. But yeah, here we go. I'm going to read out The Scholar, a new class of mage by OX Workhorse. And here we begin. Okay, with the title. The Scholar, a new class of mage. Observe, investigate, experiment, win. Winky face. All right, drop a heart. Oh, we'll do that later. All right. The Scholar is a class that was particularly fun to work on. Although there are a few instances of the class popping up in a few RPGs, namely Final Fantasy, there was a significant sense of blue ocean when it came to determining how we wanted the class to feel and what the class would actually do and why. We knew we wanted the class to have a diverse trio of discipline paths in terms of how players could leverage the scholar in team comps, but we also wanted each path to have a clear identity. We also knew we wanted scholar to use arcane power in its own special way. In turn, we landed on embracing the many facets of the literal, actual, scientific method this opened the door for knowledge and research to empower conventional spells. Sure, you could be casting something somewhat predictable, but you can juice it or twist it with your extreme intellect and deep knowledge of the magic you are choosing to wield. This was a very fun and dynamic design approach that paved the way for what the class became. A quick paraphrase definition and application for you. The scientific method is a procedural approach to scientific study that has been fundamental to the natural sciences since pretty much forever. Focusing on observation, measurement, and experimentation as the root of how to do science right. These building blocks empower testing and hypotheses, which is exactly how the scholar was designed. The introductory magic and skills that your scholar learns are those very same building blocks executed through the three disciplines of observation, investigation, hmm, measurement, but investigation felt a little more on brand, and experimentation. Granted, we didn't stick perfectly to the scientific method but it was absolutely the inspiration for the three personas we hoped to portray. And here we see a meme. I love books, which I hope we all do. Back in character now. Observation scholars play by the rules. The OS reads the report in an official and widely accepted research paper, internalizes that knowledge, and commits that knowledge to true north. It is what it is. And this is the way it will be. No deviation. If it's not proven, the OS will have no part in the discussion. Well, they may participate, but it's to correct someone who is utterly and tragically misinformed. Investigation scholars, IS, are a little more open-minded. Yeah, they read the paper. However, they don't take the findings as irrefutable gospel. They dig deeper to prove it to themselves. They are the very peak of DYOR chads 
even if it takes them a little too far. In fact, they were definitely into some weird shit in college and explored some more mm, fringe science that, while they find it incredibly fascinating, makes other members of the academic community roll their eyes. But they didn't care. They wanted to see and know truths that many may consider silly. That's what good investigators do, after all. But then there are the experimentation scholars, ES. These guys are nuts. They could care less about the opinions of leading scientists. They've transcended the need for peer review. They are peer review. They are the brilliant minds that not only aced every class alongside their OS and IS counterparts, but they are also getting stoned and watching ancient aliens, hoping to someday be on the byline of the white paper that proves superconductivity is possible at room temperature under natural pressure. If they have an idea and no one is around to hear them out, they'll even take matters into their own hands. OS, IS, and ES all have opportunities in the Scholar's Skill Codex to dig too deep, to see too much, to ask too many questions. How they handle that moment is what defines them. Observation scholars stop when they see the cliff. Investigation scholars look over the edge. Experimentation scholars straight up jump. These personas guided the flavor decisions around the class, and the flavor that threads across each aisle is super fun. Well, it will at least be fun for the person playing the scholar. It may not be as much fun for the opponent. If you've ever played, or played against, Blue Control and Magic the Gathering, I think you'll get my meaning. Speaking of control magic, when I, workhorse, was a daily MTG enthusiast, I was a Simic player. For the uninitiated, that is a blue-green color pairing that focused, at least at the time, on slowing down gameplay with counter spells, board wipes, and fog mechanics to buy time until I could afford to drop a giant creature. If you take a moment to dig into a multidiscipline scholar build, you can achieve the same effect. People will probably hate you for playing that strat, but I won't. Winky face. Outside of the above universe building, let's get into some nuts and bolts. Ward. Definition. A ward is a protective spell bubble that pops once targeted. It reduces incoming damage from a single hit to zero and prevents any attached status effect from being inflicted. Ward is something you'll see more of as the codices are released and may even sneak into some previously released classes as we redefine some interactions over time. In the family of shields, it is the one that pops when looked at, but it will serve seriously sweet roles in clutch all or nothing moments and is another tool to help deal with devastating delay mechanics. The next definition is Root. Definition. Root is a status effect that immobilizes a hero or monster, preventing them from repositioning or being pushed and pulled. While rooted, the affected target is able to perform other actions unless those actions specifically require movement. And... Legionnaire and Monk mains just unsubscribed from Workhorse's substack after learning about Root. Root will play a big role in control strategies, and it is a very powerful counter to many high mobility compositions. It may be wise to keep a scholar in your back pocket. Beyond Root, we also see a couple of new and cool skill mechanic uses focused around control. Negate makes an appearance to deal with some of those pesky delay skills. 
This is clutch now under the new speed system. Pirates, beware. Meanwhile, wizards will now have a target on their backs, with the scholar being able to attack the AP meters of opponents, but also contribute charges of AP to allies. Wizard subclass, value. Keep an eye also on how scholars can manipulate amnesia. This is very powerful, and we'll keep an eye on it as we make balance changes. But I personally love the flavor behind skills like forbidden knowledge, by which amnesia can be removed from the scholar itself. The scholar giveth and taketh away. Certainly. Lastly, arcane power is spicy, and you will see it in other magic users down the road. That being said, Scholar's method of accruing AP is particularly novel because you are passively gathering knowledge through slow and incremental research and study. And every so often, you have a eureka moment, a crit strike, to gain even more. Until next time, be sure to follow all the stuff on Twitter, including at DeFi Kingdoms, at Wisdom Labs, and the author of this article that I have read, at OX Workhorse. Keep an eye, also, on how scholars can manipulate amnesia. This is a very powerful, mm, cut that, OS and IS counterparts. But they were also getting stoned and watching Ancient Aliens, hoping to someday be on the byline of the white paper that proves superconductivity is possible at room pressure. Balls. Balls. Fuck that one up. Lastly... Arcane power is spicy, and you will want to see... Uh, cut that. Yeah, follow Workhorse. I'm now out of character. I'm, I'm Sticks intern again. Blah. Uh, yeah, follow Workhorse. Follow his substack. If I hadn't opened a new thing, you know, right here, I have it on my phone. Logged in, I follow him. So, yeah, shouts out to Workhorse. Shouts out to DFK. Shouts out to everyone for the content you guys are putting out and creating. Looking forward to it.